Live from San Francisco, it's theCUBE, covering Pure Accelerate 2017. Brought to you by Pure Storage. Welcome back to Pier 70 in San Francisco, everybody. I'm Dave Vellante with my co-host, Stu Miniman, and this is theCUBE. We go out to the events, we extract the signal from the noise. A lot going on here at Pure Accelerate 2017. Siva, Siva Kumar is here, he's the Senior Director of Data Center, Data Center Solutions at Cisco, and Mayur DeWaker is the Product Management Lead for Converged at Pure Storage. Gentlemen, welcome to theCUBE. Thank Great you. to be here. Thank We've you. heard a lot this morning about Converge, the Cisco partnership. We just had a couple customers on that are doing Flash Stack. Uh, so Siva, let's start with you. Uh, thoughts on Accelerate? You know, this is probably the, the coolest event I've been in many years. Different venue, the, right? The I mean, ambience, the venue, and, and the fact that Warriors won last night, <laughs> it just joy. It's awesome today. Oh, you want to talk hoops for a little bit? You know, we can, we can do that, you guys. <laughs> We're Patriots fans, so we know, obnoxious <laughs> winning fans, two out of the last three, it's good. It's good to be a winner, isn't it? Yep, absolutely. <laughs> well, Mayor, give us, give us you know, your thoughts on, on Converge. You guys are talking about Converge a lot today, mm -hmm. Flash Stack, uh, we just heard from some customers. Talk about the strategy, what are you guys trying to accomplish there? Yeah, so we launched the Flash Stack program about three years ago, and what we were starting to see in the industry was that there was a very clear preference from customers to buy full stack solutions, right? Mm -hmm. So we thought that was an opportunity for us to take our storage business and move it into an adjacent market, which was Converge. And we thought we had really addressed a lot of the storage pain points that people were seeing with the existing Converge solutions. So with our flash performance and the simplicity that Pure brings to the table, we thought we had an opportunity really to team up with Cisco and build a solution that can be sufficiently differentiated and something that people would really love to try out. Mir, I wonder if you could help clarify something. A lot of times people hear Converge and they think coming together. When I think about the solutions that both Cisco UCS and Pure, there's lots of software and it's really a distributed type scalable architecture. Right. So how am I both converged and scalable? <laughs> yeah, so what we're basically doing is we are trying to, so we're bringing best of breed solutions together, right? So I think there's a lot of synergy between the way UCS is architected and Pure is architected. So we're both stateless architectures on the compute side and the stored side. And what we're doing as part of the Pure storage or flash stack converge program is that we're really gluing these things together with a unified management platform which really brings everything together. So it really simplifies the deployment, it simplifies the day-to-day -day management of the entire stack, which, which is really what people are looking for. All right, so, so Siva, we've heard a lot today about Converge, we heard some comments about hyperconverged. What's the difference between converged and hyperconverged? I think the, if you look at the evolution in the industry, these are, these are big shifts or the big ways customers want to consume. The, the genesis of all the work around convergence, if you will, that started it all, was the customers started to realize, I have bigger problems to solve from an IT perspective. I would rather not solve infrastructure problems all by myself. I want the vendors to solve this. I want the vendors to give me an experience that is far more turnkey so I invest my time and resource on higher order bits that, that are more you know, business critical from their perspective. That truly allowed us to look into convergence as a strategy and bring together certain use cases and value propositions that is very critical to IT. High availability, you know, scalability, multi-site deployment, which are all critical for an IT to solve. We solve it first ourselves as a joint architecture. We validate that and then we provide blueprints that both our customers consumes and our partners consume. We are a very big channel partner community. A lot of our partners leverage the work we do to deliver a great value to our customers. While convergence was heavily centered around array-based storages that, uh, that the market was absorbing, the evolution of storage to include more in the software-defined world created another set of categories that allows customers to say, you know what, if my interest is much more on the simplification and and start small and those type of model, it, 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 it propped a new industry or a new paradigm in the industry. From our perspective, there's a huge value in convergence. It's a seven billion dollar business and, and IDC thinks it continues to grow. And we absolutely believe 
you know, we have a purpose built or a ground up platform that was built for Flash, that's the pure storage architecture, is truly here and, in, and truly is a, is a big part of our strategy building that. And of course, you know, as, as, as more use cases are coming to the compute side, we are here to embrace technologies like hyperconvergence because that's obviously something that's great for a server vendor to embrace as well. So, so from your standpoint, I mean, I think of you guys as software heavy, software led, mm -hmm. um, but you're but you're not participating in the so-called hyperconverge. That because you don't want to own that part of the stack. You'd rather partner for it. What, what's your point of view there? Yeah. So I think from our standpoint, we believe that there is basically use cases both for hyperconverge and conversion infrastructure. Right. We believe that with the program we have at Cisco, we can basically provide a very good, very compelling solution in Flash Stack. And uh, Cisco already has a solution in Hyperflex that addresses the hyperconverged use case. And uh, we really see both of these coexisting in a lot of customer environments. There are use cases where HCI absolutely shines, and then there are use cases where we believe Flash Stack is uh, you know, really the right solution. But it's interesting, you haven't sort of you know, chased that, tr that trend, you're more focused on you know, your areas than you're doing very well with it. Mm -hmm. Is that fundamental to the strategy or is it just sort of, you guys are focused elsewhere? Or? Yeah, so I think for us, for pure storage, I think uh, we are looking at the converged market really as there is, there is a lot of existing business there that can be had, uh -huh. uh, which is really tied to you know, legacy storage platforms coming up for refresh as part of the uh, converge infrastructure uh, deployments people already have. So that in itself is a fairly large opportunity for us. And we believe that with the, uh, with the messaging we have, which is you can consolidate a lot of your workloads on FlashTag. I think the, the platform that FlashTag is providing uh, is really very well suited for the use cases that pure storage has traditionally played in, it, which is really the enterprise workloads, in my opinion. Is it fair to say that sort of Convergence 1.0, and of course Cisco was heavily involved in Convergence 1.0, you kind of arguably created it with, along with some partners, but is it fair to say that it was just too complex for a lot of, a lot of customers, and are you trying to take that to a next level? Can you add some color to that? Yeah, yeah I, I, can, I could answer that. I, I think the Convergence 1.0, was truly about IT operational simplification. Because they truly wanted to consume these best of breed technologies without having to deal with so much of technology consumption itself, but as a system level consumption. But in, in parallel, what happened in the industry is obviously the evolution of cloud. Cloud brought a completely different paradigm of how you consume an infrastructure in itself. I mean, the email is an infrastructure now because you buy from a cloud vendor, you get your VM in an email. Mm -hmm. So that's a very different way of consumption model, which created additional re requirements for more simplification, the, the turnkey experiences and things like that led to another category. But if you look at Flash Stack, you know, what we are doing is we are bringing this simplification model into Flash Stack as well. We recognize while building the best of breed is a great idea and great market for itself, simplification is never lost. People love that as well. So we're looking at bringing together a, a, a as close to a single pane of glass as possible with, a, with, a, with such strong technology play to deliver some of the simplification in this model as well. So you're truly trying to bridge the gap in offering something that, that uh, our customers really want to see. Yeah. yeah, simplification is definitely a big piece of that wave of both converge and hyperconverge. Um, when, when I think back when we launched all of these solutions, it was, okay, that day zero, uh, I should be able to speed that up, and the, the day one, the stuff afterwards, we should be able to make that easier. How are you measuring that these days? A any customers you can speak to as to you know, how they dramatically shift that, you know, kind of keeping the lights on versus uh, you know, really being able to focus on the business? Yeah, so I think if you really look at a converged stack, there is three distinct pieces in it, right? So there's compute, storage, networking. And I think Cisco did a phenomenal job with the UCS and UCS manager platforms, right? In helping really put a cookie cutter approach around deploying compute. So if you look at what was remaining, networking was always kind of the low hanging fruit. Storage was very complex, right? So with Pure coming into the picture, we have really simplified the overall deployment and management of storage, right? So, I mean, we're talking from days down to a few hours to get storage going 
and get the entire flash stack infrastructure going as a result, right? And then what we're doing is we're using a lot of existing tools that exist in the ecosystem. So a great example of that is UCS Director, which is being used very commonly by customers to deploy their entire data centers. We are integrating with that and in addition to that, we're also integrating with a lot of hypervisor level tools, like vCenter or you know, Hyper-V level tools, right? And the benefit is that customers are getting to use the tools that are already used to with the simplicity of UCS and Pure to really simplify the overall deployment and also management of the entire stack. So you're really, the problem you're solving is one of IT labor in intensity, right? The IT labor is too, too much IT labor, it's too non-differentiated, it's too expensive, is that fair? Well, yeah, the, the, I think that, yeah, so fundamentally what we are solving is providing you a platform. A platform and an experience that IT wants, IT desires, but that also is optimized, so that they, you can easily provide a platform experience, but then the workload and the diversification you see in the market, and the one side is an Oracle database, you don't touch it for four years kind of a thing, on the other hand, you have a container which lives for two seconds. So you truly have a, a, a complete you know, you know, range of use cases. Each demands something different from, an, from a platform. Our strategy and our goal is to provide a single cohesive platform that uniformly works across all of these use cases from an IT operations and management standpoint. Mm -hmm. I mean, you realize the challenge is quite complex, but the solution is a huge value for our customers, and that's really our journey in, in solving this problem. Yeah. Can, can you share any, what, 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 what should we expect to see from a kind of joint engineering deployment going forward? We heard in the keynote this morning, uh, so some really, you know, the, the cloud native, you know, AI, ML type deployments. We're talking less about virtualization, more about you know, containers and microservices. Uh, where, where, where should we look to Cisco and Pure in the future? So, I think there's an interesting demo on the floor which really talks about something that's cutting edge. NVMe over fabric. So the, the next big innovation from Pure is an NVMe, all NVMe array. That is, that is you know, obviously no performance holds there. It's absolutely a screaming box. We have a Cisco adapter technology that can deliver high performance, low latency IO transport on top of a fabric, on top of an ethernet fabric to talk NVMe from the host. Just the power of how much you can do I.O. subsystem from a compute perspective onto the network and talking to the storage and the ability to bring a, a super class performance from a storage perspective is absolutely a next generation cutting edge. And, and, a, and a vendors like this coming together truly solves the industry's next big problem. Who better to solve a fabric network bandwidth issue than Cisco partnering with best of breed from a storage? Then that's one just sort of a technology and architectural play, if you will. But on a use case workload type of scenarios, we have done a lot of the traditional use cases quite a bit, you know, the databases and the VDIs of the world, but we are now looking at the next generation use cases. Containers, microservices, how do I, how do I make the Docker environment integrate seamlessly with the flash stack? Yeah, this is a very different, this is this is a very different paradigm. How do I enable flash stack to be very simple to consume for Kubernetes. Because these are use cases where the developer, who is much more focused on clouds, does not really think there is an infrastructure underneath. He doesn't even care about it. Right. So we need to give him that experience so that it's a seamless way of deploying and managing these DevOps environment as well. So that's the next wave of work we are doing is to provide that agility for factor coming out of the flash stack. And the foundational architecture being built for this obviously helps. And you see NVMe over Fabric as kind of like one of those foundational aspects, That'll, that'll right? be a, another architectural cog in the same you know, context of what we're trying to do. do you, are you, with FlashTech, able to preserve that same experience for customers, the evergreen experience, the, the never have to migrate your data, I mean, all that wonderful stuff. Does that translate into the partnership? We are, so we are taking a lot of the same goodness we have with the storage platform and we are extending that into flash tag. So we have, you know, very similar to Pure, you can almost non-disruptively upgrade pretty much everything in the UCS stack. And we have special programs now with Cisco through which we can provide people the option to also 
uh, get new gear every couple of years, very similar to the evergreen storage program we have uh -huh. uh, through Pure Storage. So is it fair to say, that, well first of all, is that unique to Pure, or is that something that Cisco sort of has innovated on? It's, from a storage perspective, Pure, I think, truly created the, the easy button for storage, which is, which is non-existent. So one of the hardest problems to solve. But what about the other pieces? And Cisco so. obviously pioneered the fabric-based stateless compute, which is still the standard in the industry of how to, how to do the easy button for compute is, is truly what we brought to the table that truly really revolutionized the industry. I, I absolutely think that's, that's where the, that's where the architecture, uh, individually you're building technology that are great. When you combine that and jointly engineer the solution, and provide the turnkey value to the customer, then the absolute value is manifested in a, in a very big way. And I think that's our journey. We are here, obviously we are hearing a lot of great customers coming yeah, in. absolutely. But the more customers we hear, the more we learn. But you've substantially sort of recreated that, that experience you know, to, to a great degree. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a huge differentiator for, for Pure. You don't hear a lot of other companies talking about it, and when you talk to your customers, they always point to that. You know, the migrations are just such a painful, horrible experience. Yep. So, good stuff. All right, we have to leave it there, gents. Thanks very much for coming on theCUBE. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Pleasure, thank you. All right, take care. Awesome. Keep it right there, buddy. We'll be back with our next guest. This is theCUBE. We're live from Pure Accelerate 2017. We'll be right back.